What if you uncovered a secret so dark, it shattered everything you believed about your own family? Picture this, a quiet town where the sun sets behind the hills, casting long shadows over the seemingly perfect lives within. In this serene backdrop, a mother's world is rocked to its core by an unthinkable discovery, a discovery that would unravel the chilling threads of a deadly secret she never saw coming. Tonight we delve into a spine-tingling story of deception and hidden truths, a true crime narrative that blurs the line between love and horror. As we unfold the layers of this gripping tale, prepare yourself for the unsettling reality that sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones we never suspect. This is the haunting journey of a mother's relentless pursuit for the truth and the sinister revelation that changed everything. In the heart of a picturesque countryside lay a small town shrouded in timeless charm. Picturesque cottages lined the cobblestone streets where neighbors exchanged warm greetings and children played under the watchful eyes of cherry blossom trees. Here the world seemed to operate at a slower pace, with life unfolding like a gentle melody. Among these tranquil surroundings stood a modest home, its white picket fence hugging the property snugly. This was the home of Mary and her son, Ethan. Mary, a kind-hearted woman known for her infectious laughter, and tireless devotion as a single mother had always been the anchor in Ethan's life. Every morning, the aroma of freshly brewed coffee mingled with the scent of blooming roses from her garden, a testament to her love for nurturing. Ethan, with his bright eyes and curious nature, had always been the apple of her eye. He embodied the innocence of youth his days filled with dreams of exploration and adventure. Together, they painted a picture of idyllic family life, a bond forged by love and understanding. To the townsfolk who watched them from afar, they seemed untouchable by the darkness lurking in the shadows. Yet, beneath this facade of serenity and warmth lay secrets that whispered in the quiet of the night. Secrets that were poised to unravel the comforting narrative of their lives. It is in this setting, so ordinary and so unassuming, that destiny set its stage for an unexpected revelation. A revelation that would forever change the way Mary viewed the world and her son. As the sun set over the hills, casting its golden glow over the town, little did anyone know that the peaceful facade was about to be shattered, leaving echoes of a story that would haunt the edges of their memories. The first inkling of unease crept into Mary's heart like a lingering shadow that refused to fade. It started subtly, with misplaced items around the house and the irregular patterns in Ethan's once predictable routine. She noticed how he seemed distant, his laughter less frequent, replaced by a silence that spoke volumes in their cozy living room. Her once vibrant son now appeared shrouded in a veil of quiet contemplation, his mind wandering to places far beyond her reach. Strange changes began to unfold in his demeanor. The twinkle that once danced in his eyes seemed dulled by a burden he couldn't share. Mary's heart ached with an unspoken worry as Ethan's rooms once a sanctuary filled with youthful cheer, became more like a fortress he retreated into. Late at night, Mary would find herself pacing the hallway, her footsteps echoing her mounting concern. She recalled the quick, hushed phone calls Ethan would make, his voice guarded as if protecting a fragile secret. It was the little things that gnawed at her maternal instincts, whispering warnings she could not ignore. The forgotten dinner conversations where his responses turned vague, his gaze averted. It was as if she was talking to a ghost of the Ethan she knew. These changes pulled at the strings of her intuition, 
playing a haunting melody that grew louder with each passing day. In the quiet solitude of her sleepless nights, Mary wrestled with the growing fear that something insidious was lurking beneath the surface, the nagging feeling that perhaps her beloved son, the bright-eyed boy she held close, was harboring a truth that could unravel the fabric of their lives. Little did she know, the uneasy feeling was just the beginning of a journey into a darkness she was not prepared to face. The unseen clues began as mere flickers in the corner of Mary's eye, whispers that taunted her curiosity. It started in the depths of Ethan's closet, where a pair of muddy boots lay hidden beneath a pile of clothes, dirt clinging to them like secrets begging to be discovered. Mary's fingers brushed the grainy surface and a chill crept up her spine. She remembered Ethan's recent late nights, his excuses growing flimsier with each sunrise. Her heart sank when she found a crumpled piece of paper in his school bag, a map scribbled with routes she didn't recognize, routes that led to places she feared to ponder. The air in their cozy kitchen seemed heavier, as if it bore witness to unspeakable confessions. Missing kitchen knives, vanished without explanation, haunted her thoughts. She noticed the peculiar smell of bleach lingering in the air one evening, a scent lingering like an uninvited guest. It was as if an invisible trail of breadcrumbs was leading her toward an inevitable truth. On one particularly stormy night, as the rain drummed against the windows, Mary stumbled upon a locked drawer in Ethan's desk. Her heart raced with a mix of dread and determination. Inside, she found fragments of a diary, pages torn but decipherable, pages that spoke of restless nights and dark contemplations. It was as if Ethan had been pouring his heart into these hidden pages, trying to exercise the shadows that followed him. Mary's world, once painted in reassuring strokes of normality, began to unravel as she pieced together these fragments. A timeline emerged, a sequence of seemingly random events that pointed her down a path she could no longer turn away from. Each discovery brought her closer to a truth that threatened to shatter her world. As she sat in the quiet of her living room, the pieces of this disturbing puzzle slowly fit together, forming a picture she was terrified to see. The realization dawned upon her like a cold dawn, the kind that chills you to your very core. And in that moment, she knew that her journey into the depths of Ethan's secret had only just begun. The discovery of the truth arrived on a night thick with anticipation, like an electrical storm yet to break. Mary found herself drawn inexplicably towards Ethan's room, as if an unseen hand was guiding her. Her fingers trembled as they hovered over the handle of the locked drawer she had unearthed days earlier. Something inside urged her to confront whatever lay hidden within. With a determined breath, she found the resolve to search for the key she knew had to be somewhere within the folds of Ethan's belongings. Her search was frantic yet deliberate, each moment stretching like an eternity. Finally, her fingers brushed against something metallic nestled beneath a stack of his favorite comic books. The key felt cold and heavy in her hand its weight a harbinger of the revelations to come. Slowly, she turned the lock, the click echoing loudly enough to make her heart skip. Her breath caught in her throat as her eyes fell upon what lay within. There, meticulously organized and yet so out of place in the innocence of her son's room, were photographs that froze her very soul, each image more chilling than the last capturing moments and faces entwined in a narrative she could barely comprehend. People she had never met, their expressions captured in stark black and white, moments frozen in time 
yet teeming with a silent story that screamed for attention. Among these forbidden pieces lay a notebook, pages filled with thoughts and diagrams that read like a manifesto of a life she did not recognize. Her hands shook as she leafed through the pages, each word slicing through her remaining hopes, unraveling the fabric of the boy she thought she knew. Each revelation was a thread pulled, exposing a tapestry of darkness woven behind her back. Her heart ached with a pain that only the betrayal of unconditional love can bring. It was as though the very axis of her world had shifted and she was caught in the freefall of disbelief. She stood there, surrounded by the haunting echoes of Ethan's hidden life, knowing she had ventured into a narrative far darker than she had ever dared to imagine. The room seemed to close in around her, the walls whispering secrets she longed to unhear. Her son's innocent laughter echoed in her mind, a bittersweet reminder of the child she had lost to, whatever darkness had claimed him. As she clutched the pieces of Ethan's secret life in her trembling hands, a chilling resolve settled over her. She knew there was no turning back from this truth. Her journey into the heart of her son's deadly secret was just beginning, and she was determined to face whatever lay in the shadows. For the sake of the boy she once knew and still loved beyond reason. The truth hit Mary with the force of a storm, its winds relentless and unforgiving, sweeping away the last remnants of innocence from her mind. As she sat amidst the shadows of Ethan's revelations, the images and words replayed in her mind, each more unsettling than the last. The photographs told tales of clandestine meetings in the most unexpected places, forgotten corners of the town where the light dared not intrude, faces that bore no warmth or familiarity, each one tied to a mystery too dark to fathom. It was as if Ethan had woven himself into a tapestry of individuals bound by secrecy and perhaps something more sinister. The diary, worn and frayed at the edges, unveiled a chilling chronology of events. Ethan had meticulously documented each encounter, notes written in an unfamiliar hand that seemed so foreign yet unmistakably his. Mary read words that hinted at a world she could scarcely comprehend, filled with references to hidden rituals and strange symbols, things that whispered of dangers unseen and threats unspoken. The weight of these revelations pressed upon her chest like a dark shadow enveloping her. The pieces slowly fit together as her mind raced with the implications of Ethan's actions. She realized he had been part of something far larger, an undercurrent that ran beneath the peaceful veneer of their town. A network of individuals who thrived in the unseen, their lives intertwined with a secret so profound it was beyond her immediate understanding. The notebook's detailed meetings in abandoned places, where the hushed tones and covert gestures painted a picture of clandestine gatherings, Mary felt her heart pound in her chest as she understood the scope of the conspiracy, a web spun with threads of desperation and darkness. The confessions scrawled across the pages spoke of plans and actions that chilled her to the bone, each one leading to a revelation more disturbing than the last. It was a world shrouded in a darkness that clung to her like a second skin, a world where Ethan was no longer just her son, but a participant in a narrative laced with danger. The gravity of the situation dawned upon her with terrifying clarity. Her son, the one she remembered cradling in her arms, had become entwined in a deadly game, its stakes higher than she ever could have imagined. The path he had chosen was fraught with peril, and its darkness threatened to consume him whole. As the cold night wrapped around her, Mary was left with a haunting realization. 
Ethan's secret was no longer just his own, but one that threatened the very fabric of their lives. Yet, even amidst the despair, she knew she had to act. She was determined to unravel this mystery, no matter how deep and dark the rabbit hole went. For beyond the shadows lay the only thing that mattered the hope of bringing her son back to the light. The confrontation unfolded in the dimly lit kitchen, where the silence was as thick as the tension hanging in the air. Mary stood there, her heart pounding in her chest, a protective force fueled by love and determination. Ethan sat across from her, his eyes downcast, hiding a storm of emotions beneath a calm facade. She knew this was the moment when their worlds would collide and nothing would ever be the same. Her voice, though steady, quivered with the weight of unspoken fears as she questioned him. Each word felt like a delicate thread, weaving their fragile connection back together, yet threatening to unravel with a single wrong move. They danced around the truth, their words circling like wary predators, cautious and probing. Ethan's defenses were strong, layers of denial and anger cloaked his true feelings. His voice was sharp, laced with defiance, as he met his mother's gaze with a look that spoke of vulnerability masked by rebellion. But Mary persisted, her tenacity fueled by a mother's love that knew no bounds. She reached for the words that would bridge the distance between them, speaking with a tenderness that pierced through his armor. The room seemed to shrink, drawing them closer with each passing moment. Ethan's resolve began to crack under the weight of her persistence, the facade he clung to crumbling like fragile glass. His eyes glistened with unshed tears, mirrors reflecting the internal struggle that writhed within him. Slowly, reluctantly, the truth began to unfold a confession wrought with pain and regret. His voice, now a mere whisper, told of the secret life he had led, each admission a dagger to his mother's heart. The darkness he had embraced was not of his choosing, but a path he felt powerless to deviate from. As Ethan spoke, the fear and guilt that had consumed him spilled forth in waves, each word a cathartic surrender to the compassion in Mary's eyes. Her heart broke with each revelation, yet her resolve only strengthened. She held him close, enveloping him in a warmth he had long forgotten, whispering words of forgiveness and hope. This was the moment of reckoning, a collision of truth and consequence, where love battled the shadows and emerged victorious. Mary knew their journey was far from over, but in that instant, surrounded by the ghosts of confession, a new path unfolded before them. It was a path shrouded in challenges and uncertainty, yet lit by the unwavering light of a mother's love. The aftermath of Ethan's confession descended like a fog, enveloping their home in a tension that seemed to pulse through the walls. The air felt heavy with unspoken emotions, each passing moment echoing with the weight of what had been revealed. The vibrant laughter that once filled their home was now replaced by a silence that spoke volumes, a silence that held the echoes of truth and betrayal. Mary found herself grappling with the enormity of her son's actions, the knowledge heavy on her heart like an anchor. Her mind was a whirlwind of memories, colliding with harsh realities that refused to fade. She wrestled with the duality of love and disillusionment, questioning how the boy she nurtured and loved had wandered so far into the shadows. Each room in their home seemed to hold a memory of innocence now tainted by the dark revelations, casting long shadows over cherished recollections. The once comforting familiarity of their house became a constant reminder of the secret it harbored, a secret that threatened to tear apart the very fabric of their family. Ethan, too, bore the weight of his choices, 
his demeanor a mixture of remorse and fear. The bond between mother and son had been strained, trust frayed like a fragile thread stretched too thin. They tiptoed around each other, wary of breaking the delicate balance that held them together. In moments of solitude, Mary would find herself staring out the window, her thoughts drifting to the past and the future intertwined. She struggled with guilt, unable to shake the feeling that she could have seen the signs, could have intervened before the darkness took hold. The community, once a warm embrace, now felt like a distant murmur, their whispers unseen yet felt in every interaction, every sideways glance that seemed to weigh her down with invisible judgment. She knew their journey was just beginning, a path to healing that was fraught with challenges. But amidst the turmoil, there was a flicker of hope, a hope that love and redemption could weave a new narrative from the fragments of their shattered lives. Mary clung to this hope, determined to face the uncertainty and forge a path toward understanding and renewal. It was the beginning of a new chapter, one that would test the strength of their bond, one that sought to reclaim the love that darkness had threatened to devour. The investigation unfolded with an intensity that matched the gravity of Ethan's revelations. As the sun rose on the morning after the confession, the town was already buzzing with whispers of the unfolding drama, a quiet storm that would soon engulf their peaceful lives. The authorities arrived at Mary's doorstep with a solemn determination, their presence a testament to the seriousness of the situation. Mary's heart pounded as she recounted the chilling details of her discovery, each word heavy with the weight of truth. The officers listened attentively, their expressions unreadable yet focused, as they absorbed the unsettling narrative of Ethan's secret life. They assured Mary of their commitment to uncover the full extent of the truth, their words a fragile promise that echoed in her ears. As the investigation commenced, a team of detectives meticulously sifted through the haunting evidence Mary had uncovered. The photographs, the notebook, each piece a jigsaw puzzle in the larger picture of a clandestine world that had encroached upon their lives. Forensic experts pored over the images, identifying locations and individuals tied to the network Ethan had unwittingly become embroiled in. The connections were laid bare piece by piece, each thread leading to new revelations that chilled Mary to her core. The detectives combed through Ethan's diary, finding detailed accounts of meetings and events that painted a vivid picture of the shadowy world he had been drawn into. The notes spoke of covert gatherings in abandoned buildings at the edge of town, places where the light dared not venture. As they pieced together the timeline of events, patterns emerged that corroborated Mary's findings each discovery reinforcing the tangled web Ethan had been caught in. Key evidence was discovered in the form of digital communications, messages exchanged in encrypted channels that spoke of plans and activities Mary could scarcely comprehend. The investigators worked tirelessly to decrypt these messages, each breakthrough unveiling a narrative darker than the last. The missing kitchen knives, once a haunting mystery, were found in an abandoned warehouse, their presence a chilling testament to the potential for violence that had lurked so close to Mary's heart. Forensic analysis linked them to activities that painted a grim picture of the secret world Ethan had been a part of. The muddy boots Mary had found were traced back to footprints discovered at these clandestine locations their unique pattern, a silent witness to Ethan's travels into the unknown. The investigation, though fraught with challenges, slowly unveiled a hidden network, a tapestry of relationships and activities that had operated beneath the radar of the quiet town. 
With each piece of evidence, the scope of the mystery grew, enveloping the town in a shadow that seemed to stretch infinitely. Yet amidst the darkness, Mary's resolve shone through, her courage serving as a guiding light as the investigation pushed forward. As the detectives continued their pursuit of the truth, the pieces began to fall into place, each discovery strengthening the case against those who had ensnared her son. The journey to justice was long, but Mary held on to the hope that the light of truth would ultimately pierce through the darkness, offering a chance of redemption for her son and their fractured family. The community reaction mirrored the rippling effect of a stone cast into still water, unsettling the placid surface of their small town. As the news of Ethan's secret began to spread, whispers fluttered through the cobblestone streets like wayward leaves caught in a gust. Neighbors who once exchanged warm greetings with Mary found themselves grappling with disbelief, their perceptions of the family shifting like shadows in the fading light. The townspeople, who had admired Mary for her kindness and resilience, now wore expressions of conflicted sympathy and curiosity. In the market square, where stories traveled faster than the breeze, conversations turned cautious, each word carefully measured, each glance laden with unspoken questions. The facade of innocence that once cloaked this idyllic town began to crack, revealing the raw edges of fear and suspicion. Cafes that had once been filled with laughter now hummed with hushed tones, each conversation a thread weaving through the collective consciousness of the town. Mary, who had always felt the embrace of her community, now sensed an invisible boundary forming, a line drawn by the unrelenting tide of gossip that echoed in every corner. Friends who had stood by her side now offered tentative support, their well-meaning words tinged with the unease of those who stood on the outside looking in. Yet amidst the murmurs of judgment, there were those who rallied behind Mary, their support a steadfast beacon in the storm of speculation. These were the souls who understood the complexities of human nature, who recognized that the darkest paths are not always chosen willingly. Their empathy shone like stars in a clouded sky, a reminder that even in the darkest of tales, compassion could forge bridges where division threatened to take root. The children, too, felt the impact of the revelation, their youthful curiosity tempered by the somber realities that had intruded upon their world. Playgrounds became quieter as parents cast watchful eyes over their children, caution taking root where once there had been carefree abandon. Mary found solace in these moments, her heart warmed by the knowledge that amidst the uncertainty, there remained pockets of kindness that refused to wane. As the town grappled with the weight of Ethan's actions, a complex tapestry of emotions unfurled, a narrative of fear, misunderstanding, but also of hope and resilience. It was a reminder that even as the sun set on one chapter, the dawn of another promised the possibility of healing and redemption. In the reflection of their quiet resilience, the community began to find strength, each individual a thread in the fabric of their shared humanity, woven together by the complexities of life, love, and the mysteries that sometimes lie hidden in the hearts of those we think we know. The legal proceedings unfurled with an air of solemnity, a stark reminder of the gravity that clung to Ethan's revelations. The courthouse, a monument of justice, loomed tall as families gathered, whispers of open secrets echoing in its corridors. The trial commenced under the watchful eyes of the community, each face a witness to the unfolding drama that had woven itself into their collective story. Ethan sat at the defendant's table, his youthful demeanor 
now shrouded by the burden of his actions, a reluctant protagonist in a narrative he could no longer escape. His presence, a stark juxtaposition to the severity of the charges laid before him, evoked a mix of pity and judgment from those who hoped for justice to prevail. The prosecution, armed with the daunting task of untangling the complex web of his secret life, presented their case with meticulous precision. They unfurled the tapestry of evidence gathered from the extensive investigation, each piece a thread leading to the network hidden beneath the town's innocent facade. Photographs, communications, and the clandestine meetings painted a picture of a youthful descent into an intricate labyrinth of shadows, leaving the court in hushed anticipation. They portrayed Ethan as a figure caught in a vortex of influences beyond his control, yet the weight of responsibility bore firmly upon his shoulders. The defense attorney stood steadfast in his corner, a beacon of resolve against the storm of allegations. He wove a narrative of youthful naivete, painting Ethan as a victim caught in a tide too powerful to withstand alone. The courtroom became an arena where legal minds sparred, each argument and rebuttal forging the path toward illumination. Key witnesses were called to the stand, their testimonies a mix of revelation and challenge. Friends, acquaintances, and those who had unknowingly brushed against the edges of Ethan's hidden world offered perspectives that ranged from disbelief to empathy. Each account added layers to the story, complicating the simplistic narrative of guilt and innocence. The jury listened intently, their expressions a mosaic of curiosity, skepticism, and understanding as they navigated the labyrinthine complexities of the case. Challenges arose as the defense wrestled with the implications of Ethan's actions. The prosecutor, seeking to dismantle any vestiges of doubt that lingered in the courtroom air. The trial was a testament to the intricacies of justice, where truths were unearthed not just through facts, but through the emotions and motivations that lay beneath the surface. As the proceedings drew to a close, the judge's gavel signaled the end of one chapter, leaving the jury to deliberate the outcome that would impact Ethan's future and the lives interwoven with his. The tension in the courtroom hung like a tangible veil, anticipation mounting with each passing moment. With the weight of their decision resting upon them, the jurors retreated to consider the evidence and the moral complexities entwined with the law. For Mary, the trial was an emotional crucible, a test of both faith and resilience. She watched with a mixture of hope and trepidation, knowing that the outcome would not only determine her son's fate, but also set the course for their journey toward healing. As the court awaited the verdict, the community held its breath poised at the edge of resolution, the culmination of a saga that had gripped them in its unrelenting grasp. The media frenzy descended upon the small town like a relentless tempest, its whispers amplified through headlines and broadcasts that swept across the nation. The story of Ethan and his hidden life captivated the public imagination. Each detail dissected and debated as the narrative unfolded under the unyielding glare of the spotlight. News vans lined the quiet streets, their satellite dishes reaching skyward, hungry for the next morsel of information. Reporters, armed with microphones and cameras, prowled the town square like investigators in search of a storyline. Their presence was a constant reminder that the private ordeal of a family was now a spectacle for the world to witness. The media's portrayal of the case varied some outlets painted Ethan as a troubled youth ensnared by forces beyond his control, 
while others focused on the darker elements, casting him as a willing participant in a shadowy world. The narrative shifted with each passing news cycle, the facts sometimes blurred by the allure of sensationalism. For Mary, the barrage of media attention was both a source of distress and an unexpected lifeline. Her every move was scrutinized, her gestures analyzed with a fervor that veered into the realm of intrusion. She found herself thrust into the role of reluctant spokesperson, her words dissected for hidden meanings in the relentless pursuit of a headline. The pressure to present a united front amidst the chaos was immense, a constant balancing act between protecting her son and engaging with the public's insatiable curiosity. The overwhelming attention fractured the fragile remnants of their once private lives, turning personal anguish into public fodder. Supporters and critics alike voiced their opinions through screens and newspapers, their words echoing in the corridors of Mary's home. Yet amidst the cacophony, there were moments of solidarity when strangers reached out with empathy and understanding, offering words of comfort that bridged the gap between anonymity and humanity. The impact of the media's gaze extended beyond the family, casting long shadows over the entire community. The town that once thrived on quiet camaraderie now stood divided, its residents grappling with the implications of a narrative that had grown beyond their control. Mary knew the path ahead was fraught with challenges, but she held on to the hope that beneath the layers of speculation lay a truth only she and Ethan truly understood. In the face of the storm, she resolved to weather the barrage of attention, determined to reclaim the story and navigate the fragmented pieces of their lives. As the media circus swirled around them, Mary realized that amidst the frenzy lay an opportunity to reshape the narrative, to find threads of redemption and understanding woven into the fabric of their story. For within the chaos of reporting and conjecture, she hoped to find a space for healing and perhaps a chance to bring Ethan's truth to light. The psychological angle of Ethan's actions unfolded like a complex tapestry, with threads interwoven in ways that defied simplistic explanations. As the trial progressed, expert witnesses were called upon to shed light on the labyrinth of his mind, offering insights into the forces that may have driven him down such a dark path. Psychologists and psychiatrists examined Ethan's history, piecing together the elements of his life that had contributed to a growing sense of discord within him. They explored moments of isolation and the pressures that often accompany the cusp of adulthood. It became evident that Ethan's journey had not been one of malice, but of a young mind grappling with overwhelming darkness, an inner turmoil that blurred the line between right and wrong. His secret world emerged as a coping mechanism, a misguided attempt to find control and belonging in a universe that felt increasingly alien. The experts discussed Ethan's susceptibility to external influences, noting how his natural curiosity made him vulnerable to the allure of clandestine groups. His actions were framed not as calculated malice, but as the impulsive decisions of a mind in distress, seeking solace in the wrong places. It was a narrative of vulnerability, where the need for understanding and acceptance spiraled into a path fraught with danger. They spoke of possible mental health issues that had remained hidden, masked by the veneer of normalcy in his everyday interactions. Depression and anxiety were considered conditions that often manifest in unexpected ways during adolescence, clouding judgment and fueling poor decision-making. The discussion extended to the impact of modern pressures, the digital age's relentless pace, 
having sculpted a landscape that young minds sometimes struggle to navigate. With social media amplifying both connection and isolation, the experts provided a somber reminder of the invisible battles that many face behind closed doors. They did not excuse Ethan's actions, but sought to contextualize them within a framework of mental health awareness, a call to understand and address rather than simply condemn. As the courtroom absorbed these revelations, there was a collective pause, an opportunity to reflect on the broader implications of Ethan's journey. It was a moment that highlighted the importance of recognizing the signs that often whisper without shouting, urging the world to listen more closely and offer support before the darkness becomes overwhelming. For Mary, this exploration of Ethan's psyche was a dual-edged revelation, deepening her understanding, yet amplifying her guilt for not having noticed the signs earlier. It was a chapter in their story that underscored the need for compassion and awareness, a plea for a society that stands ready to help those silently crying out for a lifeline. The psychological angle, though not offering absolution, provided a bridge to understanding, a foundation upon which healing could begin its careful construction. Reflecting on the past, Mary found herself sifting through the tender memories of Ethan's childhood, searching for answers in the echoes of laughter and the warmth of shared moments. In the quiet solitude of her thoughts, she revisited the vivid memories that had once painted the tapestry of their lives, memories now tinged with the somber hues of hindsight. She recalled Ethan's early years, where his bright eyes glimmered with an innocence that spoke of boundless curiosity. He was a child who found wonder in the simplest of things, his laughter a melody that filled their home with joy. Mary remembered the times he would bring her dandelions from the yard, his face lit with pride as he presented her with his treasures. In those moments, life felt uncomplicated, grounded in the purity of a child's love and the reassurance of a mother's embrace. Yet as she replayed these cherished scenes in her mind, Mary wrestled with the gnawing question of what she might have missed. She thought of Ethan's teenage years, a time when subtle shifts began to take place. His playful curiosity seemed to wander down more solitary paths, his once open heart retreating behind closed doors. Mary remembered the nights he spent engrossed in his computer, the glow from the screen casting shadows that seemed to deepen over time. She wondered if there were moments obscured by the routine of life, signs that whispered of his inner turmoil, which she had been too preoccupied to heed. The pangs of regret weighed heavily on her heart, mingled with the guilt of a mother questioning the what-ifs and the could-have-beens. Mary considered those times when Ethan's mood seemed to dip, his laughter not as readily forthcoming, replaced by a quiet contemplation she had attributed to teenage angst. She pondered the possibility that his occasional withdrawals were not just the whims of adolescence, but signals of a struggle too complex for him to articulate. It was a painful reflection, acknowledging that in her desire to protect and nurture, she might have overlooked subtle cries for help hidden in plain sight. Yet amidst the regret, Mary found the seed of a renewed purpose, to learn from the shadows of the past and ensure that the light of understanding would guide her path forward. She realized that this journey of healing, fraught with the echoes of childhood's innocence lost, was not just about redemption for Ethan, but also a quest to forgive herself. For in the heart of a mother's reflection lies the essence of unconditional love, a love that seeks to mend, to nurture, and to find hope in the bond that, despite the shadows, still endures. 
In summary, the story of Mary and Ethan leaves us with a haunting reminder of the fragility of trust and the complexity of family bonds. Their journey through hidden secrets and chilling revelations has etched a profound impact on their lives, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit when faced with unimaginable truths. The unsettling nature of discovering a deadly secret within one's own family begs us to reflect on the delicate balance of understanding and judgment and the shadows that often linger just beyond our perception. As we consider the broader themes woven through this dark narrative, we're reminded of the importance of vigilance, the courage to face uncomfortable revelations, and the unwavering love that can guide us through even the darkest of times. We invite you to share your thoughts on this gripping tale of mystery and family secrets in the comments below and encourage you to subscribe for more intriguing true crime stories. Hit the notification bell to ensure you never miss an episode as we continue to explore the hidden truths that shape our world.